Hey everyone, it's been Huxlam here. In today's tutorial I want to show you how I use Photoshop to make things glow. Like these three buttons here, they could use some glow to look better. And if you want to follow along at home, you can go to my Gumroad page, gumroad.com slash and download this practice scene package where this scene 3 is included. And along with the raw rendering directly from Keyshot, you'll get uh, the PSD for the final image with all the post-processing done to it. And you can go through all these layers by yourself and see how they affect the final image. And along with that you'll also get the Keyshot KSP uh, which includes the scene with uh, all this lighting setup and material setups and you can go into the material graph and have a look at each material and see how it's set up and so on. A lot of stuff to dig into. Let's get into the glow. The first step is to select the material that you want to glow or to have a glow around and there are several ways to do that. One of them is to simply take the magic wand tool and simply use that to select the area which sometimes works fine and sometimes does not. You can see here, yeah, it's a bit tough good to get the edges totally clean. It would work, but another way to do it is if you have outputted a clown pass from Keyshot, you can use that to make clear selections of the material. And with this selection, I go ahead and create a new layer and click this layer mask button to use the active selection as a layer mask like this. Then I want to fill the, the layer up with a color and to do that I press I on the keyboard to select the color picker. I press Alt to... Oh, no, I do not. I just left click on the mouse and go for the brightest area in on this button. So like this and then I click Alt and Backspace to fill the layer with the color. So far so good. The next step is to apply some Gaussian blur to the layer. This step is really just about eyeballing the look that you want for your glow. And I guess that, or I'm not guessing, I think that something around a radius of 17 looks pretty cool for this purpose. Yeah, you can see how it's already making a big difference. Maybe I will turn down the opacity a bit. And that's actually basically how I make things glow. Sometimes I add another layer and uh, use a soft brush. to paint on top of the glow to have to create a more diffuse glow and turn down the opacity to something like 30 or sometimes I also try out different blending modes and I encourage you to do that as well to find the uh, option that gives you the best look. And I guess this looks pretty cool. Oh, too much diffuse glow. Uh, this one could be a bit brighter now. That looks actually pretty good. And that is how I make things glow. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching this. Please subscribe and like if you think it was helpful and if you want to see more of this. And 
if you want to help other people just like you find this resource. Until next time, take care.